Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into games for Sunday, January 2nd of 2022 in the NHL season, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need to help you make your picks. So, as we're approaching the 40% mark in the NHL season, things are starting to heat up and playoff positioning is actually starting to take place. So let's take a look at some of the action. There's five games we're going to take a look at. First is Tampa Bay and the New York Rangers. The Lightning head into New York on top in the Atlantic Division, while the Rangers are third in the Metropolitan Division. You see, Tampa Bay is burning hot at the moment, winners of their last four and five out of their last six, while the Rangers are ice cold down just two and four over their last six contests. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see the trend here. You got uh, Tampa Bay at plus 31, and the Rangers are at plus 28. But take a note of that plus 28. That was as of December the 17th. Nothing has been updated since then. Guaranteed that will be lower after this recent trend of games. Uh, if you look at the totals predictor, you see that the streaks have been over the, for the last three games for New York and over the last two games for the Lightning. So it's a good indication this is a, probably going to be a higher scoring game going over the line. Uh, the score prediction has Tampa Bay by a 3-2 to two margin with 61% confidence in the prediction. Um, in fact, that has changed from earlier. Earlier it was um, New York 3-1 to one with 63% confidence. So there again, take a look at this as this fluctuates quite a bit between now and uh, the time the game starts on Sunday. If you take a look at the stability factor, you will see that both teams are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog stats. Look at this, the Rangers at plus 11 and Tampa Bay is at plus 7. I like this to be a higher scoring game. I do think the Rangers will come away with the win, but it could perhaps go into overtime. It's going to be a close game, excellent battle, and it's going to go over the line. Boston and Detroit. The fourth and fifth place teams in the Atlantic Division face off in this one. The Brewers, the Bruins, excuse me, are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. While the Red Wings are ice cold up, they're coming off of a win. They've won two out of their last three, and they're two and four over their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on the downward trend. Boston at plus 13, Detroit at plus 12. If you look at the totals predictor, you can see that Boston is trending in games three out of the last six over, three out of the last six under, Detroit five out of the last six over. It's kind of an iffy proposition betting on this one as far as the over or under goes. I would probably avoid that. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, they're both consistently performing according to their favorite underdog stats. You see Detroit plus eight, while Boston is at plus six. The score predictor right now has Detroit with a 3-2 margin of victory with 49% level of confidence. When I looked at it earlier, it was 3-2 same score, but with 55% level of confidence. You can see again, this is changing as we speak. And as far as the outcome of the game, I do like the Red, the Red Wings to win at home, perhaps in an overtime fashion. Probably I'm looking at a goal game, maybe 3-2, 2-1, something along those lines. San Jose and Pittsburgh, we're not going to take a look at that one this week. Uh, Anaheim and Colorado. Anaheim heads to Colorado with the second best record in the Pacific Division. Colorado is burning hot down while Anaheim is average. You can see that Colorado had won their previous five before a loss to Nashville 5-2. While the Ducks are coming off of a loss and they were 4-2 over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are near the top of the league at plus 29. The totals predictor, take a look at how Anaheim has been trending in games over the line in their last three. Colorado trending in games over the line five out of their last six. This is a good indication to bet the over. If you look at the score predictor, this is kind of showing the same thing with a total of six goals. Colorado with a 4-2 edge with 64% level of confidence. Uh, and that has changed from 4-1, to one, which was a little bit earlier when I looked at this. It was 4-1, to one, 50 seven percent level of confidence either way it looks like colorado has a good advantage here let's take a look at the volatility oscillator 
The stability factor, which is always important, both teams are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status at plus 9 for Colorado and plus 7 for Anaheim. So I do like uh, Colorado to win this one uh, probably by, by two goals, and I think it will go over the line. New Jersey and Washington. Washington enters second in the Metropolitan Division, and the Devils are second from the bottom. You can see the Devils are dead status and losers are their last six. Just play really bad, really bad hockey at the moment. Washington is averaged down. They have lost three out of their last six. And you can see they've alternated wins and losses over that time. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, Washington is at plus 27, while New Jersey is all the way down here at the bottom, not surprisingly, at plus two. This is almost a deadlock cinch to win an over under bet here if you bet the over. If you look at the total streak, in the last six games, New Jersey has been trending in games over the line in every game, as has Washington. Bet over in this one for nearly guaranteed money. The stability factor, New Jersey plus nine, Washington plus six. Considering that New Jersey is going to be an underdog, this is even more indication to bet for Washington. Washington will win by a few goals, two or three goals, and the game will go over the line. Winnipeg and Vegas, Calgary and Chicago. We want to take a look at this one. Chicago comes in near the bottom of the Central Division, and Calgary is third in the Pacific Division. You can see Calgary is ice cold down, losers of their last four, and two and four of their last six, while Chicago is also ice cold down. They have lost their last two, and they are two and four over their last six. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see the downward trend. Calgary at plus 29 as of December the 5th, and they are now down to plus 20. But that was as of December the 11th. There hasn't been anything posted since then on that, and nothing since the 18th for Chicago, and they were well when they were at plus 10 at that time. If you take a look at the score prediction, we got Chicago 3, Calgary 2, a 68% level of confidence, and that really hasn't changed much. It was six it was three to two sixty seven percent level of confidence just a short time ago. The volatility oscillator indicates here something that could be important as we look forward. Calgary has been very inconsistent according to their favorite underdog status at minus one, while Chicago is at plus seven. Uh it's not shown yet who is going to be the favorite in this one, so there's really no way to know yet. But I am leaning towards Calgary to win on the road. Um, I don't know exactly by what margin of score. I, it's, it's, this game could go either way. It's actually really kind of a toss-up type game. I'm leaning towards Calgary to win in a game on the road and going over the line. The last game is Dallas and Arizona. I'm not going to take a look at that one, but that is the full slate of games for January the 2nd. So there you have it. Happy betting, a happy new year, and we will see you next time.